Hey, welcome back. I am Nivedita. I am a certified yoga teacher. Today we are going to learn how to do Balasana or child's pose. This is also called as Shashankasana. This posture helps to release the stress and fatigue at both physical and mental level. It really calms the mind. It is also beneficial for our ankle, our knees, thighs, hips and lower back. If you wish to see and learn more such postures, do subscribe to my channel. Let's see how to do Balasana. If you have knee injury and ladies with pregnancy, please perform this posture only under the supervision of experienced teacher. Let's begin to see how to do Balasana. Get onto your knees and get into tabletop position. Your knees hip width apart and your palms shoulder width apart. We are now in tabletop position. From here, move your palms a little farther. And widen your knees a little more, both your knees. Now join both your big toes together. So from here, I am moving my hip down towards the floor, reaching my heels. You can see I am placing my hip onto my heels. If you are not able to reach your hip down to your heels, you can move your heels until wherever you are able to and stay there. You can also use a support if you feel you need a support, use a pillow between your heels and your hips. If you feel you need one more, you can always use another pillow between your hips and heels to get the support. If you feel your ankles are straight and you need support between your ankles and floor, you can use a blanket or bed sheet and place it below your ankle. One more option is roll your mat hold it and place your ankles on the rolled mat this is another option okay i'm placing my hips onto my heels and from here i'm extending my hands out always make sure your arms are away from your ears they're not closer to your ears this will stress your shoulders. So keeping your arms away from yours, you're stretching your hands out as much as possible, elongating my spine from my lower back. Lengthen your spine, elongate your spine and place your forehead onto the floor. Do not round your back, be aware and make sure your spine is always straight and forehead rested on the floor. If you are not able to place your forehead onto the floor, you can stay or reach up to wherever you are able to. And if you feel you need support, you can use the pillow. You can use a pillow or two based on until wherever you are able to reach and stay there you can stay in this posture up to five breaths or even more depending upon how long you want to stay here Just take a long deep inhalation and a long deep exhalation This posture really calms the mind. It also helps to take off all the fatigue and stress from your mind and your body. You can do this posture in the midst of rigorous workout or yoga practice. If you feel you are exhausted and you need to rest, you need, you need a break, get into Balasana and take a long deep breath. All your fatigue will be gone. It is also beneficial for your knees, your ankles, your lower back and your hips because it gives a great stretch to all of these and helps in 
making our all the limbs flexible so consider doing this posture whenever you feel you need to calm your mind and take out all the stress if you're feeling stressful get into balasana take a few long deep breath you will feel better hope you like my video if you wish to learn more postures please subscribe to my channel if you have any questions you can always leave them in comment section i will try to answer all your questions and maybe come up with more yoga postures which you would like to do let's meet in another video until then stay healthy stay happy bye bye